boy, we got a wild one for you. Oh, it's God, is there anything better than Mazda's at Lime Rock Park? Well, there is, but at the moment there isn't. Sam Devon Tier live on Twitch at the Cowboy99. Put it in chat, guys. Let's get that multi thing going. Here, I'll even give you the link. Look how look how nice I am. The cow boy 99 streaming this race as well ian lane's in the race oh my goodness somehow some way i was able to get pole position we'll see how if i can keep it place your bets guys good luck now i'll tell you it's pretty it's pretty high speed high speed track here with this car so you know we're, we're gonna be in uh, speeds uh, over 100 miles an hour grass killer dropping that sub welcome dude appreciate it here we go green flag Oh, they're already wrecking behind. That guy had his wheel turned. Oh no, did he go right into Sam? Kid Mitchell, straight up protest, mate. Oh my goodness. Might. Oh, if you would have been watching his stream, you would have saw what happened. I front four, but. You gotta make sure your wheel's straight when you start the race. I'm rooting for Ian. Come on, checkers, you can do it. Did we get airborne? That'd be nice. Are you guys betting win all? I don't win races. I usually find a way to screw it up somehow. <laughs> Hello, Ray Jr. Hello, is this the real showdown, Matt Mon? It really is me. What's up, Ray? Good to see you, buddy. Don't get it off track. I'm here for the safety rating. You know, it kind of, it kind of bothers me that. I don't know. I didn't the gear. I'm heavily damaged. People's mindset when it comes to Mazda uh, is, uh, it's a rookie it's car. Awesome. It's really unfortunate because. Some of the best races I've ever had came in the form of a Mazda MX-5. The slower the car, the the closer the racing. There's so much more involved with the shifting and the steering and the braking and the clutching. I just think it's uh, very underrated. I think people just get out of, like, they have a bad experience with Mazda, right? Through progressing, who's this guy? Progressing through the um, rookie license class, and they're like, oh God, thank, thank goodness I'm out of rookies. Like, I don't ever want to drive that Mazda again. But really, their experience was because of other people's bad driving, you know? I mean, you get some really fast Mazda drivers, dude, it is so much fun. All right, we better concentrate a little. Out of that This guy sandbagged in quality, I think. Spit up a little dirt at him. Yeah, drive GT3 and GTE cars. The type of racing you have is like, oh my god, they went two by two through two corners, and now everyone's dead. Oh, okay. Thought you had control. Yeah, that was fun. That was worth 40 minutes of my life. I'm exaggerating, obviously. I just think it's like, you know, I'm the type of guy that's like, I want to race, you know? I don't want a hot lap, you know? And with Mazda, you get a lot of racing. You know, there's a lot of hot lapping too, but it just seems like with the faster cars, you're just hot lapping out there. <laughs> Anderson? Yeah, probably. Dude, the Porsche 911 series, oh my god, it is, it is really good fun. That car is amazing. 
I wish that it was at like top of the hour though. It seems it's. I find it hard to get into a race. Like the timing just doesn't line up with the other series I run. You know. And Carthago Delenda est dropping the sub Amazon Prime style. Thanks, buddy. Welcome. That Amazon Prime thing is a uh, well, it's a, it's a godsend. It's pretty great, great though, you know. Totally free for the viewer. Helps out the streamer. Gets you emotes. All that good stuff. I'd say it lets you watch the stream with no ads, but that's false now. They changed that. But just get ad blocker, that's what I say. I mean, no! I use it. Yeah, the mods is good fun, man. It really is. Especially this new one. Remember how skeptical and like frustrated I was when this car first came out? And they, they have updated this car, though, to make it a little bit more drivable. I think it was the setup, though, that they were using. It's just the tail end. The ass end would just just totally step out on you for, like, no reason. It was so hard to keep under control. Like, any little throttle. Like, if I give it throttle right now, the ass end would just fly out. It was like a drifting car at first. And I was, like, super frustrated. I'm like, what have they done? I'm like, I'm sticking with the old Mazda. And then after a while... You get used to it, that's a big part of it. They changed the setup a lot. It took them a while to nail down this setup, this fixed setup. It is a good setup. And, uh... It's just more agile, more nimble than the old Mazda. It's a little bit quicker. I think it actually has less horsepower, but it's just so much lighter than the, than the other one. Which is why it's so nimble. And the brakes are really good on it, because it's lighter, you know? So... And it just looks better. You see these things out in the real world? People, like, stop and look at, like, Lamborghinis and Ferraris. I'm like, what was that, a Mazda? That was a freaking Mazda. Get the camera. <laughs> I see them quite a bit. I see, uh... I see Teslas more than I see these things, but... A Tesla is... Obviously, there's... <laughs> it's like a those, those like normal sedans and stuff. This thing's just for fun. You buy it for fun, you know. And they're pretty damn expensive. It's like twenty five, thirty thousand for a new Mazda. I think they nailed the design on it though. It's amazing how small they are when you see them in real life. It is a small car. Where's that at, D-Pain, yes. if you don't mind me asking? I drive around a lot at work for work, so... I kind of cover a, a lot of ground. And I'm always out and about. So I probably see more than most people. But. Oh, in Canada, Toronto? Okay. Fucking wop up popped right into me. It's Spiral Profit dropping two months in a row. Appreciate it, man. Like check. But yeah, I just think. I mean, there's the whole Advanced Mazda series, and that's great and all. But you still get like D licensed drivers doing it, and I and sometimes I feel bad like doing rookie Mazdas. But I mean, why should I not race it just because nobody like you know. The highly competitive, like, 9,000 I-rating guys, just because they don't race it, that shouldn't deter me from racing it. I mean, you a lot of times you get in here, you know, maybe you even have some D-class racers that are just really competent in the Mazda, and you have yourself a hell of a race. And it's a lot of fun, man. Door-to-door -door stuff. Ins and outs. Like, everything racing-related, all the tactics come into play with Mazda. I mean, you miss a shift, boom, the guy gets around. You know, maybe guy goes a little hot into a corner, you get him on there. It's just the, the good back and forth. And it just seems like with GT3 and stuff, the only time you're passing people is 
they're spinning out or they're wrecking people or I don't know. It just seems like there's not a whole lot of actual racing in the faster car classes series. <laughs> I like how I'm like promoting Mazda and I'm like just here racing all by myself. <laughs> you dirty farmer. You get these right. I mean, I can't. I mean, I sign up for a race. I don't know what it's going to be like. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that guy in second, he's got a number 11 car. He's about to get some massive rating. Uh, checking in on uh, Ian Lane. Ian Lane, do you have a copy? Right. How's your race That's going? Man, go. I can move every turn one. Oh, okay, great. Oh, okay, cool. I see you turn blue on my screen. He's got that ultra wide. <sighs> Any Hugo. Hey Don Solo, welcome. I don't know if I'm get I'm getting any better at Mazda, but if I think back to like I actually recently watched some like old old YouTube videos of me racing this mod not the old Mazda, but this new Mazda. And what's it been out like? Has it been two years since the new Mazda's been out? Samantha knows. I think so, because the old one they called Circa 2015. No. No, that would've been a long time. That must, I don't know. It's been out at least two years. I don't even know what year it is. Isn't it like 2009 right now? 2013? No, when did they come out with the new Mazda, this Mazda? When did they come out with this thing? It's been more than two years. Anyway, I was watching an old video. And I'm like, eh, I saw some things, and I'm like, I don't do that anymore. I'm like, so I guess I have. It's kind of hard to tell if you've improved, you know? You get to this, like, you know, I don't know. It's so hard to, like, when you're first starting out, like, when we watch Samantha race, you can see the improvement, because it's like leaps and bounds. She gets, like, leaps and bounds better, you know? So it's super easy to see. The improvement and that's what they talk about when it comes to aliens like the alien is looking for like a tenth you know i'm not that good i, I think it just has to do with like certain technique just more understanding of the car and how it feels and then being able to do it consistently consistency is key man i struggle with that with everything but but i've definitely gotten better it just doesn't feel like it it's like those people that take a picture of themselves every single day for like two years. And then they're like, yeah, I don't know, I guess I look the same. And then they fast forward it all through and you're like, oh man. Oh wow, how he's grown, yes. And then they put it on Facebook and it gets like two million views. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, I understand it took a lot of work, but geez, that is hell of a commitment. Some of the videos that get 10 million, 20 million, 50 million views on I Facebook. Was there? It's like, what is this? How does it count as a view? If I'm scrolling through Facebook and I just happen to stop on it for like maybe three seconds and I watch it with no audio, does that count as a view, I wonder? Probably does. Is this a monologue podcast episode? Sure. I got lots to talk about. I'll tell you what. It's getting warm in here. Someone will shut their hot mouth. <laughs> uh, Matt, tell us a story? I don't know. I'm just talking. Just chilling, having fun. I don't really have any stories. How about the story of... Um, oh, we went to... Uh, it was kind of funny. We went to a party... Uh, Samantha's friend Samantha's friends I guess they're becoming my friends now but every year they do a um, Oktoberfest themed party I'm like ha ha I know all about Oktoberfest I was just in Germany mother truckers I'm like when we go I'll tell you whether or not it's authentic 
But we had sausages. It was fine. We had pretzels. Yes. They were very good. Yes. And everybody buys like a certain German beer, or most of them just buy like Oktoberfest style beers. I'm yeah. like, this, none of this is authentic, but it's fun, you know. And we eat sausage and sauerkraut, eat pretzels, and and it's really not much of a story. Everyone left by like 9:30. I'm like, my God, how old are we? I'm like, we're the last ones to leave. Mark Mitchell, so you, mate. You wrecked me on lap one. We felt obligated to stay until at least 10. It was a Saturday night, for crying out loud. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, uh, 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 what do you call them? Lightweights. Primetime Live, what's up, dude? Yeah, I've been to, I went to Germany a couple weekends ago. It was amazing. But anyway. <laughs> Keep that music level low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they have a really nice house though. The backyard's amazing. They got like a, a, a like a patio. Yeah, this other area where they got like the grill is like incorporated into like a part of a table. Really nice landscaping with some beautiful flowers. Manicured lawn. Beautiful privacy fence. Must have been painted in the last year because it is spectacular. No off tracks, by the way. Did you find Germany be authentic enough for you? Oh, yes, I think I read that. Yes, it was very authentic. They're in first place. Do they have any cars on blocks out front? Hey, you hate flowers. You know what we got running in the yards is uh, tiger lilies. If you don't understand what a tiger lily is, it's like a weed, essentially. It just keeps growing and spreading. It's like a hosta, really. Why these Mazda races? How long are they? Super long. Oh, we're almost to the end. I haven't shut my mouth since the very beginning. It's all good. Huh? Any plans for a rock garden? Well, I was talking to a guy at work, and I was like, you know this whole mulch thing? It's a conspiracy, dude. Hey, why don't you buy a bunch of mulch, spread it all over, you know? Like they got you in there the next year buying more mulch because the stuff breaks down. It breaks. It's biodegradable. They, that's what they don't tell you. This mulch that they sell you in stores, it's biodegradable. You put it on there one year, it's gone the next. You got to buy more. It's just a perpetual freaking money stream for these people. It's unbelievable. They don't tell you about this going in first time. Okay, these are these are homeowner tips for you. So I was thinking, why, why don't we get some rocks? Okay, because rocks. Yeah. It's really, it takes a while for them to break down. It's just wood chips, right? Mulch, yeah. Um, oh, you, oh, some people call it something different. Yes. But I'm like, why don't we just get some of that river stone? You get that nice river stone, right? I'm like, lay that down. Make sure it's like white. Nice, so it pops yes. against the green grass. Yes. So I was talking to a guy at work, and he's like, well... He's like, the thing about... The thing about... Um, uh, stone if you use stone around your house as you would mulch right he's like the problem it, it, it gets really really hot the sun the sun hitting it makes it really really hot so you got to be careful of what plants you like grow in your flower bed or your landscaping area I'm like eh, I'm like I never really thought of that I'm like but these tiger lilies man I've run them over with the the lawnmower they just grow back the next day they're like, yeah, what was that, a lawnmower? He's like, they go like this. They're like, yeah, and that's nothing. <laughs> so I think they'll be able to handle some rocks. Besides, on some parts of the house, it's shaded most of the time. But anyway. So I'm like, where am I going to get some rocks? It's like, I could get rocks on job sites, man, easily, for free. You just fill up buckets, man. They wouldn't care. I just ask them, hey, can I get some rocks? You, you got any rocks, bro? Uh, it's got to be good rock, though. I don't know. You can just hire a landscaping company. They'll just 
They'll just send a load right in your driveway. They'll drop a load all over your driveway. Second place, false hope. Yeah. All right, white flag. Here we go in the Mazda MX-5 here at beautiful Lime Rock Park. Matt Malone doing everything he can to try to make it not such a blowout. He slows down a little bit, giving the cars behind some glimmer of hope that they too could maybe capture a first place victory here. But no, Matt Malone getting on throttle hard. He's going to win it. He's going to bring that 50 pound gold trophy home with him tonight. I don't have to go home. I'm already home. They're going to send it to me. There you go. Number one car, Matt Malone winning this race handedly. Boy, it's been a while since we've had a win. Can we get some GTB wins in the chat? Oh, for all of you that won, you're betting. You guys are in lock. It wasn't really even a gamble, was it? It all depends on who signs up, I tell you. Do you know the difference between plants and weeds? Weeds you pull out and they grow back. Plants are what you water and then they die. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes, GTB win, GTB win, GTB win, GTB win. Oh boy, it's so much fun. Well, I'd have to say, this uh, Mazda podcast brought to you by Ian Lane's uh, Twitch account. Ensuring you always get the meme races. And I'm even doing my, uh, my cooldown lap. Pulling into the pits just like you should. This is how you gain extra safety rating, class. It's true. Bet's paid out. Look at this crazy guy. We're coming through. Oh! Coming your way, fellas. Thanks. Good job tonight. Good win, Ian. All right, let's do the turkey timeline. It's everyone's favorite. Good. Yeah, that was real good. That was real good. Uh, we're going to want to go to uh, lap one, turn one. Oh, yeah, let's see what this guy... His wheel was turned the whole time. Yeah, his wheel. Oh, no. Number 12 car of Mitchell Peak had his wheel turned all the way at the start. A little pro tip for you here. Uh, don't do that. As you can see, his tire... That is actually an issue that can sometimes happen, uh, especially if you wreck in qualifying and then it ends and then you don't know where your wheel was. You just want to go all the way to the right or left and then give it a nice little spin around and then you're centered. It's a pro tip. I'll give you that one for free. Oh, and the two green machines going in and getting into each other on the end of left. Oh, I thought that guy DQ'd on lap one. That would have been great. He's taking it a little bit wide, folks. The number 10 getting around. Oh! The other guy does a great job of avoiding him, really. Now he's going to have a little spin of his own. The two car trying to correct it. Overcorrects it. Now he's in the middle of the track. Luckily, the competition was able to avoid him this time and spare him a hospital bill. The Red Bull number five going to the inside, trying to get a two for one deal as he gets around. Oh, and the green machine getting loose and net coating number eight. There, he's into the wall. Red Bull keeps it going. He's feeling a little bit guilty, but really, I don't think he could have done much to avoid any of that. Matt, I was the, t I was car two. You did great, cowboy. At the start was yeah, yeah. You're the one who got hit. <clears throat> going a little wide pick oh we got the number 12 and the number five red bull at it again going to the inside does he leave room no the number 12 pit maneuvers himself oh and he's sideways on the track red bull i think coulda shoulda coulda woulda shoulda coulda shoulda backed off a little bit i don't think technically he had corner rights let's take a look at it one more time as we see kyle carpenter no does he have corner rights here yeah, I don't know. You kind of got to leave him room, 12. I think 12's got to respect the spotter in that situation, don't you think? Five probably should have backed off, but since he was still there, the other car... That's it? That's all the incidents? All right, well, there, there you go. Thank you for watching. I love you.